What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And today, also, um, curse word warning, and I'm gonna get straight to the topic. Mattel fucked up the whole Dino Trackers line. Just absolute anarchy. What the fuck is this? And a Triceraptor with quills. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? And the paint scheme is just fuck. If I had to describe the paint scheme, I'd describe it as mustard gas. What the fuck is that? Good night. Bro. Look at this. This shit looks like a booger. What is that? Actually, why did they add quills too? They did they try to make up for this? Did they try to make up for the fucking toenails and shit? Oh, well, um, 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 the, it has quills. What the fuck? And then on my first rant, I didn't get on the, um, Ceratops in the regalis Ceratops. I don't fucking know how to say that shit. They're picking the most obscure species, too, which is just like, why? Um, you know, it's actually not that bad, but pain apps... I kind of fucking the figure up a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Um, I kind of like the way it looks. It's very, like, bulky. But that's the only good thing of this. Yeah, that's the only good thing. Because now we have... What the fuck is that called? A gigant spinosaurus. What the fuck? That sounds like a shitty fanfic. That sounds like a shitty fan fiction of like, oh, Doctor Who makes a fucking Giganotosaurus and Spinosaurus hybrid. What the fuck is that? Gigant Spinosaurus. That, that's a joke, right? Oh my god, this is. Oh, I, I'm gonna get more in depth um in a little bit. Uh, and the Dilophosaurus is just ass. It looks like an emo design. This why is it hunched over? This looks like a hunchback from that one Courage and Cowardly Dog episode. What is this? Actually, what the fuck? And <laughs> the big reveal. The big reveal of this whole video. The fucking Presta Suches. Why is it Why is it built like that? Why is it head so big? It looks It's built like a Funko Pop. What the fuck? Okay, let's, let's look at this head. Oh, oh, that shit, <laughs> oh, that shit, fucking jump scare, stupid ass bitch, boy. All right, well, um, I'll get more in depth in a second, so give me a minute. Okay, y'all, sorry, I'm back, I was clearing up my storage, because I have in this room. Um, okay, so first, looking at the Atrocity Raptor, this is the order that my friend set, sent it to me in. All right, let's get in more depth. I think the base color plastic is, like, it looks like shit, like, green shit, it's, oh, Oh lord, that's an ugly green. I it it kind of blends in with the background a little bit. Like the you'll see it when you see it in the packaging. Um. Um, from the tip of the snout to around the tail part. Of course, they didn't want to paint the tail, cause it's Mattel. Um, it has like um yellow, like m a mustardy yellow that comes in like blotches. Um, the quills are green, and they're actually together. They didn't put that much detail into it. Around the eye, I think it's orange, and it has a slit pupil. Um, it has, of course, um, you know, a green splotch around, around the eye and, you know, snout. Um, and there's a little bit of white mixed in there. And the bottom jaw, it looks like a weird gray? I don't know. I don't understand what Mattel thinks they're trying to accomplish with this. Ah, uh, this is not pretty. Um, hands are not even, they didn't even bother. They just made it yellow. Like, you know, they made it match. Um, yeah, it's, that's pretty much the figure. That's the entire figure. There's nothing crazily interesting about this particular Atrociraptor, there's nothing making it stand out. Unlike the one with the car, I forgot what it was called, like Atrociraptor Breakout Pack, something like that. Look, I don't keep track of this. I'm not a, you know, I'm not crazy with this shit. Um, at least that one felt cool, right? It had like a certain vibe to it. Meanwhile, this one, oh my god, 
it feels like they tried to go very naturalistic, but ended up, I don't even know if naturalistic is a word, but if it isn't, I just made it Webster's Dictionary, please credit me, I need the money. Um, yeah, it just made it look very naturalistic, like, why did you try to go so natural? They're toys, after all. I don't understand how natural, how how far are you willing to take this, Mata? I don't understand why you do this, and I think, I don't even think the tail has any articulation. Look, if it does, it's being covered by the plastic, which, by the way, you can easily steal this. It is, like, two lines of plastic, and boom, that's it, you got the figure. That, I don't know, I don't really feel that. I'm not, I'm not feeling that, okay? I'm not, I don't know. I just don't really like that. Okay. Next figure. Actually, this isn't new. I was supposed to review this on my first Angry Rant. You know, with the medium figures, but I never got to because I wasn't really thinking about this one. Um, the, re what the fuck is that? Oh, Regali Ceratops. Okay. Um, what do I think of this figure? It's pretty good. Um, okay, let's look. Base color is yellow. I think it was the same yellow. Maybe a darker tint of yellow that was used on the Atrociraptor. Oh, hold up. I changed it up. Okay. Um, it has, I think, like a grayish green. It's kind of ugly around the face and covering the horns, too. I don't know how. I don't know what I think of that because, to be honest with you, I think horns should be black. Black or. Or the Triceratops color where, where it's like a cream color, but I don't know. It just matches. Oh my god, this driveway. Okay. I like the way. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I don't like the way that it matches with the, you know, pa paint because it looks very unnatural. And it just doesn't look right. I think the eye is like. <sighs> I think it might be like a darker shade of yellow. Like a darker version of what was used on the skin. And it has a circle eyes so that's a lot better. Because, well, it's a ceratops team. Um, I don't know what you call a thing on the back of their head. I'm going to call that, like, a peacock. Because it kind of looks like the back of a peacock. Okay, so the peacock has, like, the peacock itself has some has some paint apps. So, that's a W, always. Paint is a W. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the... I think a lighter version of the green that's used on the face. Surrounded by a cream color, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Um, the horns around the peacock are, um... They go from yellow to black, which I never really understood that. Because, well... I thought that they were supposed to be the same color as the fucking... As the fucking horns. I didn't understand why they faded. And the fading... Like, it starts off yellow on the horn. This is the horn. It starts off yellow, then turns into, I think it was like a very dark gray, and I don't really understand that. Because it's, I don't know, it just doesn't look very natural. I don't think any in Mattel, anything in Mattel looks very natural, but yeah. Then again, it's toys. But also, like, yeah, that's, this, I know I said before that, you know, the toys are not supposed to look natural. But if this is the way you're trying to go, you're definitely not helping yourself here. You're definitely not, you're, you're not helping your case at all, Mattel. Um, okay, so the same color that was used on the face, I think was used on the back too, like, behind the peacock. It was used, you know, it was used. Um, same, you know, features of Diablo Ceratops. Um, okay, so around the green, there's also like these gray spots. Which I think are also the same gray, gray spots on the spikes on the peacock. That was a mouthful. Um, yeah, and the rest of the figure is just, you know, kind of basic. Just basic mustard yellow. Um, apparently it's a desert biome, whatever it's called. Fucking type Pokemon. I don't, I don't know why they really did that. It's a cool feature, but then again, there's not much consist, consist, consistency. Okay, there. Um, now let's get to the next figure. Okay, here we go. The worst 
figure besides maybe the Dil Dilophosaurus or Prestosuchus. Pretty much everything after this point is absolute garbage. Okay. The Gigan Gigan Spinosaurus. Okay, there. That's okay, number one, I don't mean to slander on the species as a whole, but that name is garbage. It sounds like like I said before, it's something like a fan fiction. Oh, um, Dr. Wolfius, the two most the two most dangerous creatures that ever walked the earth. The Giganotosaurus and Spinosaurus. It just sounds wrong. This doesn't sound realistic. This sounds like it sounds like a joke or like a shitty fan fiction. Okay. I'm not sure what the base plastic is. Cause it's one of those figures where like it's it's cut off in half pretty much. If I had to guess, I'd say it'd be a cream color, perhaps? Cause the, and the tail has that same color, and also, um, I think it's like the Maragay or whatever, however, however the hell you pronounce that shit, um, the, fer one of the ferocious pack, um, stegosauruses that released from Dominion released, alongside Dominion. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's like, I think it's a do-over of that, actually. I don't know, maybe it's not, but it looks pretty close to that. Okay, um, it has spikes on the tail that aren't painted, which is just, why? Like, if you go, if you're gonna go out of your way to make the figures unviable, at least have something. It just didn't even bother to paint the only reason any kid would want this figure. The tail, because obviously, you know, the only reason you buy dinosaur figures is so they can fight, even though dinosaurs have fought, like, two times in the series. But, you know, the only reason they buy it is so you can fight with them, and then you don't even, like, of course, with, you know, the target audience is kids. The kids are only going to want the tail. Because, well, what, why would a kid want a herbivore action figure when you have big-ass carnivores like the T-Rex who are willing to, you know eat shit, wreck shit up, um, okay, so you know how I was talking about the split in the body, it go, it sharply turns from, like, um, I'm sorry for using the word sharply, logical fallacy, but whatever, um, it turns into, like, a weird orange, like, it looks like a light bloody orange, that's the best way to describe it. Um, the spikes, the spikes on the body are actually painted, which is probably where most of the budget went, because to be honest, I don't think Mattel cares enough to paint, you know, the head and tail. Um, the beak is painted, though, which is, I don't even know, that's actually sad, the fact that I have to mention that the beak is painted, because sometimes they don't bother to paint it. Um... From what I recall, from what I recall. I can't see the eye, though. I can't see what what the eye does. I don't know what color it is, so. Yeah, so unfortunately, I can't comment on what the eye color is. Um, its biome is also a desert, which is like, yeah, that shit has like king cobras and shit. I wouldn't recommend being there, because well, your ass is going to get eaten, you're weak as shit. Um... Yeah, this is actually, I'm not even going to lie. I think I just hate the name. I think, no, who am I kidding? I hate the whole figure. No, but I think I hate the name the most. It, the name doesn't match this. It's just, it doesn't have a spine. It just has horns. That, well, not horns. It's just like, I don't know what those are called. I think spikes. And it's not giant. It's literally just the same size as the ferocious pack, so it's like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't giant in any way, shape, or form, but we have to get to the next one or else this is going to take forever to edit, so. Okay, now to the next figure. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What is this? This is actually getting so what is this? Okay, maybe my maybe my expectations 
were set a little too high for this figure. Because, well, I have the Hammond Collection. I'm Dilophosaurus. And when you have anything Hammond Collection, everything the main line does is absolute garbage to you. But, whoo, this is actual garbage. This is not... I don't even think they bothered to paint most of the body. Okay. Literally almost everything is a white color. At the end of the tail, it fades into a gray, which is used on the head, which is used on the top jaw, and frill. Um, and it also runs down the body a little bit, like in stripes. It kind of looks like, um... It looks like if you, like, put paint on, like, the top of a, on the tip of the plane and it started flying, you know how it would, like, start dripping on the side of the plane? It kind of looks like that. Um, the frills have, like, a light gray pattern, which looks kind of nice, but then you look at the bottom jaw and it has this huge, you know, like, gap, which is, you know, that makes it look a lot cheaper than it would be. It looks like... It, it kind of looks like a wind-up toy. It looks like the same quality of a wind-up toy. Um, yeah, there's really not that much going on with this figure, which is why I hate it so much. I like my figures with a lot of stuff going on, but not too much. Pretty much perfection, which Mattel obviously can do if they decided to try. Which they do not. Um, toenails aren't painted, obviously. Um, hands are the same color as the frill, I think. Um, I can, I'm not too sure. I think, I think they are. Um, the biome is in the mountains, which I actually never knew. I thought they were, like, tropical. But then again, you could think anything's tropical as well. It's Jurassic World, and this appeared in Jurassic Park. Um, to the next figure, and I'm sorry this one was short. Um, well, not really. I don't really feel that there's not that much going on with this figure. Anyways, to the next one. Drum roll, people. This is probably the worst. Oh, my God. I think this might actually be one of the worst things Mattel has ever released. Okay, here we go. The Prestasuchus, whatever. However the fuck you say this shit. Um. This is... Oh, God. Oof. This is not... I like, I titled this shit Angry Rant, but if it was actually an Angry Rant, I'd be screaming and I'd sound like an idiot. So I need to sound proper enough to where it sounds authentic and not some six-year-old bitching about stuff they don't even know about. But, shut the fuck, okay, whatever. God damn. Okay, um... This is a quadruped, um, aquatic figure, which wouldn't be so bad if it, you know, had features like, let's say, a Siamosaurus who had, like, a fin on its back, but it doesn't. And its head looks like, looks kind of like one of those amphibians from fucking Jurassic World, the game, but ugly. <laughs> it looks ugly. Um... And its head is just fucking big as shit. Like, it has it, It's built like a Funko Pop, and I don't. And I don't mean that figuratively. It, literally, it's built like a Funko Pop. I don't know how else to describe this. Um. Also, there's not much consistency on the paint. It's kind of random. Okay, well, let's see. Base paint is gray, which. I think is a common occurrence among this line now, where everything is supposed to have some type of gray here. Um, back is light gray. I think it's pretty much the same thing as a fill on the Dilophosaurus. Lazy Mattel. Um, um, tail isn't painted, but I don't think it should be because, well, you know, I think it matches pretty well. Most of the fins. Are not painted and are the same color as the body. Stop. Freaking sending me notifications. I'm mad right now. Leave me alone. Okay. Anyway. Sorry for my mental breakdown. <clears throat> um. Toenails aren't painted. Top jaw is some 
weird burgundy color, which is not disturbing, but just, it feels, it's jarring. It's, oh, um, teeth are exposed. It kind of looks like the Giganotosaurus teeth on the T-Rex skull. Um, it pretty much looks like a T-Rex, and you know how, like, the T-Rex on the top of its snout has bumps? They take this to a whole new level. This is definitely very, you know, um, very sharp. Um, the bottom jaw is a jarring white, which, like, when you make the bottom jaw a different color, you can see where the articulation comes in, and I feel like that's probably why Marco makes um Robosaurus figures do so well. Because you can make shit realistic without, you know, seeing the joints and shit. But then again, it's a toy. Um. Yeah, so what do I think about this? This this whole line? It's ass. <laughs> they ruin the whole line. They're like two or three gems. Not even gems, just half-decent figures. And they're still always weighed down by these... Jesus, I don't even know what happened. Like, actually, this, the line before this was so good. What, what happened? Who, hold up. With this, um, with this press soup is. Who approved this and said, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see the kid, to see the look on the kids' faces when they, when they look at the press the soup is and want it. Who the fuck is going to want that? Like I said in my in my first angry rant, your target audience bases shit off looks. They're not intelligent enough to be like, wow, people put put in work on this shit. They're just like, oh, which one is cooler? What is that? Like actually, they're gonna be like, oh, that shit's ugly. That shit ugly as fuck. And that's what I think is wrong with Mattel. That they think that kids are dumb. But they think that they're dumb in the wrongest ways. They think that they're going to buy this. No, they're just dumb in the fact that they don't understand how much work is put into this. Which is also another thing. Why do you put in so much work to something that looks like this? Like, actually, this is... This, oh, Jesus, I hate this. I hate this. Um, the eye, I can't even tell what color it is. Um... I think I got, like, a low-quality image. Or... I don't even know. Or maybe the eye's too small. But I think I got a low-quality image. Um... From what I can tell, the eye may be, like, a dark... Uh, I'm sorry, a lighter brown. The... The biome is a... What? What is that? I think it's a lake. From what I can tell, I'm not, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, so I wouldn't, so I wouldn't really know, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a fucking, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a fucking, like, anyway, I'm gonna be done ranting and, you know, punch my wall. Um, yeah, so, goodbye, YouTube. Um, yeah, I started the, I started the prologue for Forgotten World episode 2. It's actually doing pretty well. I took a scary shot of um of um Skio, prehistoric Skio. That's it was pretty scary because of the lighting, but anyway. Um goodbye YouTube. Um yeah. Just goodbye. That's it. Bye.